people will say that you know 38 is on the tail end of someone's career. <laughs> yeah. How do you first? How do you keep yourself in prime playing shape? Uh -huh. and, and second, how, how are you able to be prepared when your numbers fall like this? Man, I just smile, man. I just take it on the chin. Um, luckily for me, I was around tips for a long time in my career, so I'm real. Uh, strict on taking care of myself and just always having them in my ear because because he's just been really hard on me my whole career so I was been battle tested but I'd have really been around all these guys for a long time and uh, these are most some of these guys half of this room is my rooks and the other half is just I've been around them through basketball so uh, this is a great feeling just being around some great groups of guys and that, that appreciate me and um, they're smiling and cheering me on now how many minutes I get if it's 10 15 I'm just going out there to try to help the team win there was that moment where I think Isaiah got hurt and he like left the court for a second and then you walked off the court for a second too uh -huh. just like at that point like you guys were down to zero centers what, what was gonna happen I was just looking like oh come on I, I was like come on Isaiah <laughs> Come on, but I was just happy to have him come back. You know what I'm saying? He's been playing extremely well. Basketball for us is picking up the slack. I'm trying to give him a little minute so he can get some breaks um, in here and there. But I'm trying to help the team whatever way I can, try to push this thing because I understand uh, we're playing for something. So uh, I'm just excited to be back home, excited to be wearing a jersey again, and um, I don't take it for granted. I'm just happy to be back around the guys, to be honest with you. Just sitting at home watching and playing, watching them play great basketball. And these are my young, my young guys. You know? yeah. I'm just happy to be back. So the whole New York is my family. Um, a lot of great support throughout the years. Um, since I've been back, New York's been uh, welcoming with open arms, all five barrels. I'm just happy to be back. The OGs is back. Just, just trying to just be um, inspirational. Just trying to help the team, man. Always smiling, and whatever happens, it happens. Is it, is it odd ever hearing huge Knicks chants at, at Barclays, or you think that's just the nature? Man, of I, I try to tell people like, uh, if you grow up, you you you. you you a Knicks fan. Like the highs and lows, it's a dream in the way to Jersey. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just inspirational. Just come in and seeing orange and blue. That's all I knew growing up and I'm I'm blessed enough to keep turning coach. I was I was tired, I ain't gonna lie. The young guys is laughing at me. Um it's just tough, uh, especially in the Trust me, the tough road schedule, you don't really get a chance to really practice with the guys too much, but really just trying to get a feel, try to save your legs because uh, bodies are uh, dropping. Right now. But tomorrow I'm going to get some work in and just try to be prepared, just be ready when my number's called, just do the small things, the small attributes, and uh, it's a long season. Uh, things will turn. To be a part of a situation like this because I know the whole coach staff, the whole coach staff raised me since I was a young, a young pup, and now I'm the Kurt Thomas, the Kurt Hunt. Of the Kurt Thomas of the team, man. And, um, I remember that when I was a young guy, and just being a part of this. And the coaching staff understands that they know how to push me, they know where they can rely on with me. And um, the thing about it, we're always just there's all so much positivity in this in this room right now. And um, just gonna keep pushing.